met many of you during the campaigns. Some of you were supporting me, others were not. But I'll tell you this, I knew that this was a fabulous community that I wanted to partner with when I became mayor. Thank you for what you've done for this city. You know, I talked about this morning uh, to be a city of diversity and understanding the power of that diversity and to make sure that uh, we as a community honor each of us and take the best of each of our neighborhoods and each of our um, groups. I also talked about a city of opportunity and I think that's what uh, the GLBT community uh, wants, to have the opportunity to, to participate in Dallas's future and Dallas's life. And you will have a mayor that uh, is uh, open doors to making sure that happens. And lastly, I talked about it being a city of excellence. And I'll tell you, what you guys do day in and day out with our businesses, in our politics, in our uh, schools, in, in uh, our neighborhoods, demonstrates to me you know what excellence is all about. So as far as I'm concerned, you're right on with my plan, okay? And I want to be right on with yours, and so we will continue to talk, and uh, I am just pleased that we are here to honor a Gay and Lesbian Pride Month at the City of Dallas. Let's keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I know he's got to go, so thanks for those inspiring words. Um, the, someone asked me earlier, what, how did this happen? How is it and why is it that you're here today doing this recognition? Well, it's a recognition that has never been recognized here in Dallas, and I'm going to read the proclamation later, but um, our GLBT task force that, uh, that I started back in 2009 um, felt that this was something very important to all of the members and to the uh, constituents and the citizens of Dallas. So um, we thought that this year we would begin with today's celebration, but hopefully next year we can make it bigger and better. So that's the reason we're here. We're celebrating... Uh, June as GLBT month, and then uh, June 28th as the uh, historic day that the Stonewall riots happened in New York City in 1969. Uh, and we'll, do, we'll talk more about that in a minute. What I would like to do at this moment is recognize some of our wonderful council members who are here today. We have Honorable Angela Hunt, who will be speaking later. Yes, you can. <laughs> Tim, Pauline Madrano, we have with us Scott Griggs, Council Member Scott Griggs, and we have Council Member Linda Coop, District. We love you. Thank you. Uh, another honored guest who'll be speaking with us today is Mary Soon, the City Manager. Police and Fire Department. We have Chief Deborah Carlin with the Fire Dallas Fire Rescue. And we have Assistant Chief Vince Goldbeck with the Dallas Police Department. We have our wonderful attendees at our task force meeting, Herb Ashford, Chief. And we couldn't do without Laura Martin. Um, who is our full-time LGBT outreach person. So we have former city council member John Loza with us today. John. Yeah. All right. Um, so at this moment, I would like to call up Angela Hunt. I will be recognizing other um, groups within the LGBT community later on. But Angela, if you'll come up and say a few words. How y'all doing today? It got awfully quiet. <laughs> it's so good to be here with so many friends. I'll, I'll tell you, during this last campaign in particularly, I had the opportunity to work very closely with members of the LGBT community for several months, and it was just terrific. I'm so proud of the relationship that the city of Dallas has with the LGBT community. 
I truly am. And I think we have a history of that uh, incredible relationship and that partnership. And I think we will continue that through the coming years. But it's, I, I, I want to congratulate and thank Delia Hasso uh, for your hard work and putting this all together. Delia, thank you. John Loza here, who's been a tremendous leader. We miss you, John. We're glad that we have you up here today, and we hope you'll keep coming back. Uh, but anyway, it's my it's my pleasure and privilege to represent such a great community in the LGBT community in the Oaklawn Cedar Springs area in particular. And uh, and I just want to tell you, you always have my commitment to continue working on your behalf, fighting on your behalf, and thank you uh, for your persistence for equality. Thank you. And I, I do this to my husband all the time. I forget to introduce him. So um, he is not here, but a very, very important person in our community is here today. And I would like for her to come up and say a few words. Sheriff Lupe Valdez. Yeah. Only because she's such a good friend. <laughs> You're like family. I don't look like John Castle. <laughs> Somebody just asked, will the county ever do this? And I said, hmm, you know. I am so proud of Dallas for stepping out. But if you look right up front, the, the council people, and, you know, I was looking at uh, this morning, I went to the ceremony, and I was looking at the 14 or 15 people that were all up there, and I said, they've been to Stonewall, he's been to Stonewall, she's been to Stonewall, he's been to Stonewall. <laughs> so all of these folks had been to Stonewall. So obviously it says, here's an opening. And, but it also tells us we've got a little ways to go. Uh, we've made crossroads in the county, and we hope to continue making crossroads in other places. And, you know, having the, the chief and both chief from both, both sides sitting here, most of the time, I'm the only one who shows up for county stuff and functions like this. But you know what? As we continue, I won't be the only one. Thank you very much. Lupe does attend everything that um, to, to support the county. So thank you so much for always being here with us. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to support you as well at the county as they continue to, uh, to move forward. Next, I would like to ask our new Mayor Pro Tem to come up and say a few words, Pauline Madrano. First of all, I definitely want to recognize former Mayor Pro Tem uh, John Loza, my appointee to the redistricting commission. Um, also, my dear friend and neighbor, Eddie Morgan, Eddie, and my board appointment to community development, ah, Michael Bolo is here. <laughs> Very proud to have Eddie as my neighbor and John and, and Mike that we all love. Um, as board appointees. And I know that um, our, our council members, uh, and I know Scott will too, is that our appointments and boards and commissions are so important and they should be reflective of all our community, especially the LGBT community. And so I'm proud to have a few LGBT appointments. I will continue to do that and I'm sure my colleagues will too because it's important. And I will say that um, I know in Mike's case, Lavolo, I'm telling you, they love you. You do a great job. I know Pam Gerber is on that commission too, and y'all are hell on wheels uh, uh, for that. So uh, they do. You do great work. We appreciate the work that you do for our city. I know that you love our city as much as we do, and you do great work, and we appreciate you. We, I know that. And I know, is Jesse Garcia here? Jesse is not here, but Jesse was my original appointee to the licensing, um, permanent licensing appeal boards as well. So I'm proud of my appointments. I'm proud that we're, we're here today. Ms. Hassel, I salute you for raising the, the flag and that we all can be proud today um, to celebrate this day. And hopefully we, are, we would be an exa the examples to other cities as well. Thank you for being here. Today. 